Hello and welcome back to Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about a brand new feature inside of Autodesk Design Center. But the cool thing about it is that you can use this feature regardless of the release of AutoCAD you are on. How cool is that? So, if you have access to AutoCAD Design Center, you have access to this new feature. So let's take a look at that. So I have a floor plan here and I want to put in a couple more appliances. I want to put in a refrigerator and a stove. So I can use Autodesk Design Center to do that, right? I can do a control two to get to Design Center. I'm sure most of you know that. There's other ways to get to it as well. It's in your toolbars, it's in your pull down menus, you name it. And uh, here I am in Design Center and we're gonna focus on DC Online. Now you will see that as part of Design Center, all of you have access to all kinds of existing symbols. Now I am gonna go search for a 2D architectural symbol. I'm gonna go to Appliances and I'm gonna go look for Ovens. This gives me a listing of, you can see I hear there's 14 different ovens that I have to choose from. So instead of making my own, why reinvent the wheel, right? I can take an existing one. How about this one? This one looks pretty good. And I can drag and drop that guy right over into my drawing. You see the nice little eyedropper? That's the eyedrop capability. So it looks like I need to rotate that 90 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and do an R for rotate, and then we'll rotate that 90 degrees. And then I'm just going to go ahead and lock that guy right into place. I think I want it right about there. Okay, that looks pretty good. So that's one method, of course, of using Design Center to bring in content. And not all of you have access to this. But something else you all have access to, and this is the part I really want to concentrate on, is where it says Content Search. This is going to send you to a brand new, very, very cool website called Autodesk Seek. You all have access to this. There's tons of content up, up here, all for you to access. And I, I highly recommend that you take a look at this website. Once again, why not? Why reinvent the wheel if you don't have to? There's all, all types of manufacturers out there who have contributed content in hopes that if you use their content, you'll also buy their products. Make sense? So I am also in search of a refrigerator. <laughs> so I'm going to do a quick little search. You can see I'm looking for a DWG file, but there's all kinds of options you can choose from. And you'll see I get quite a list of refrigerators that I can choose from, a bunch of different manufacturers there. I'm going to use a KitchenAid. I'm going to make it simple. I'm just going to grab this first one right here. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And you'll see there what it looks like. That looks pretty good to me. And you'll, you have all the information about it. And here I have a variety of different downloads. If you're using Revit, there's a download. I actually want to download this uh, 3D AutoCAD model of it. How about that? I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to grab this. You can see the eyedropper here. And I'm going to drop it over here give it just a second there is my refrigerator and it looks like I need to rotate it I'm gonna do a PR do you guys know about this so you can do a preview of the rotation and I'm gonna rotate that I think minus 90 is what I I really want let's see there it is that looks pretty good and no oh, I don't like the base point let's change the base point on that let's move that base point over here definitely that should make it a little bit easier and now I think I am ready to lock it into place looks good. Oh, I missed it just a little bit, but I think you get the general idea. I could easily go in and, miss and move that, right? So, all of you, be sure to go take a look at DC Online in your design center. Go take a look at Autodesk Seek. This is a fabulous new website with all kinds of great content in it. And whenever I show it to audiences, they always get very, very excited about it. And that is my tip for this week. So, have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you next Tuesday.